Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with a half case from a fresh case break of 2018 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. It's back. Back in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is uh, Pick Your Team Lucky Number 13 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on the 14th. We should break break 14 today as well. Second half of the case is already in the store. There's everyone right here. Chris Yates with that last spot mojo. So thank you, Chris. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Let's uh, pop open this fresh case and let's see, see who gets what. Let's see who gets what. So there's six boxes on each side here. All right, so there's six on the left side, six on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. TJ guessing five. Sorcery. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll be doing the right side, and this side we'll reserve for next time. There's a very strong chance that we will do this today, so pick your teams, jazbeeshobbyland.com. You can pick them right now. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I know that the... Uh, I know that the break credit promo is not attached to this one, but I'll add twenty bucks of break credit anyway to this break. So at the end, at the end, at the end, we'll randomize uh, the entire list and give away twenty bucks of break credit. Gavin's saying that if the Angels sell, it'll happen. That's the hump for all baseball breaks. False, incorrect. The last teams, the teams that were left. In this particular half, the last ones were all, like, we had seven or eight $30 teams that were left. The Angels and Yankees were gone quickly. I'm never worried about being able to sell, um, I'm not, I'm never worried about being able to sell out the Angels and the Yankees. That's actually easy for me to sell. And usually those teams are the, among the first ones to sell out. The... The difficulty is trying to convince someone to hey to buy the Rangers for twenty four ninety nine or buy the Giants for thirty nine ninety nine. You know what I mean? Buy the Brewers for twenty four ninety nine. That's always the difficult part. Everyone knows the value of the Yankees, Dodgers, Red Sox, and all those guys. You know what I mean? Angels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's trying to move the Diamondbacks, which is difficult. Trying to convince someone, hey, there's great value in that price for the Diamondbacks. So I believe the opposite. Everyone always thinks, oh, you got to sell out the big team. Well, they usually sell out first. Sam, uh, yes, $20 break credit for both break 13 and 14. No qualifiers, nothing like that. I'll just, I just take the list and randomize it. And then someone gets 20 bucks, which is not bad. It's, that's one pull out of the ATM. All right. Out of 150, Frank Thomas will top load all of these before they get shipped out. Make myself a little room here. Yoenna Cespedes to 99. And then some base cards. Gavin's saying, I'm, I'm watching this half, seeing if the case it comes or anything from a team I want to buy. Well, here's the thing, Gavin. So a lot of times, some of the big hits out of here are better than the case hit. And you got to think, if your, if your team hits in this half, maybe it's a hot case. They could be in the second half, too. All right. Behind Xander is Masahiro Tanaka, 28 out of 50. Behind Judge is 
Austin Hayes out of 299. O's. TJ with the Orioles. There's Otani. And Honus Wagner will reveal some primary pieces. Josh Bell out of 25. Nice low number for the Pirates. Paul Cool Whitlock with that one. And behind Byron Buxton will be Chris Davis. Chris with a K. 45 out of 199. Dual relic and autograph. He's got a nice auto. Next box. Gavin, you're waiting for a reason. Well, I hope your team doesn't get snapped up by somebody else while you're waiting and then miss out on big hits. Jaspieshobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. The second half is in the store already, and I'm sure that'll happen tonight. So get into it. Buy your teams now. Next box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. All right, we got the double F, Freddie Freeman, out of 50 for the Bravos. And we got Sandy Koufax, Clint Frazier. Those guys there. And we've got a nice canvas right here. Nelson Cruz. And then the dual relic and autograph, Jameson Tyon, 69 out of 74. James and Tyon, he's having a strong season for the Pirates. Paul Cool hit that one. Struck out 10 Brewers, I think, the other night. Trey Turner will reveal a nice patch. Greg Maddox, primary pieces legend. 5 out of 25, that's pretty cool. Going to the Bravos, Sen Yin with the Braves. Behind Victor Robles is, out of 25, Alex Bregman. Going to Joe Kroll and the Strohs. And behind Pedro Martinez. Has anybody read his autobiography? There might be some good summer reading. Aroldis Chapman to 50. I think that he came out a little while ago. Red Sox fans, maybe? Bill Mosher, perhaps? Mother's Day? That might be Mother's Day, right? That goes to the Yankees, of course. Clyde the Glide with the Yankees. Next box. Good luck, folks. Just almost halfway through the break. Once again, second half in the store. I'm sure that'll happen tonight. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Pick your teams.
All right, there's Roberto Clemente to 150 for the Pirates. Ortiz, Jones, and Upton. I think the Orioles looking to trade Adam Jones, perhaps, too. Start that rebuild in Baltimore. They need to. They should have moved Machado last year. All right, behind Jacob deGrom is Triple Relic and Autograph, Clint Frazier. Nice, 113 out of 149 for Clyde and the Bronx Bombers. There's Tampa Bay edition of Wade Boggs. And the primary pieces are Oldis Chapman, 14 out of 99, another Yankee for Clyde. Giancarlo Stanton reveals a George Springer autograph, 11 out of 50. And that'll be for Joe Kroll and the Strohs. And Buster Posey. Behind Buster Posey is Ichiro. Out of 25. Nice. 16 out of 25 for the Marlins. That'll be Jeremy Merle with the Marlins. I actually wouldn't be surprised if this, if the out of 25 covers a Marlins spot in this break. All right. Halfway through this half case break. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everybody. The museum collection looks nice this year, folks. So get into it while supplies last. I and mean, we only got a couple cases. So uh, after, so the second half is break 14. And then we have one more case after that. So break 15 and 16. And that's it for the time being. We do go, we do have a decent amount of Inception baseball, though, if you want to switch gears uh, for a more prospecty set. All right, there's... Hank Aaron to 99 for the Braves. Yu Darvish to 150 for the Cubs. Bo Jackson, Machado, Verlander. Any other... I actually haven't looked today. Any any news on, on the Macha Manny Machado sweepstakes? All right. Behind Lou Gehrig is Lucas Sims, 171 out of 299 for Sen Yin and the Braves. Behind Mariano Rivera is Ryan Braun, 20 out of 25. Three color game use patch for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Joe Kroll. The Brewers were in. On Machado for a little bit. I think the latest I heard as of yesterday, the Phillies were really pushing for Manny Machado. Along with Reese Hoskins, or does Reese Hoskins get traded? There's Paul Goldschmidt, 65 out of 99 primary pieces for Arthur and his snakes. There you go, Arthur. D backs with a hit. Behind Roger Maris is. Josh Harrison, two-color, triple relic, and autograph. 13 out of 149. Dodgers rental? That's what, that's what we've been hearing out here in L.A., Paul, but Paul Nixon back in the house. Um... I don't know if that's going to happen. I 
I hear that the Dodgers offer is strong. But whether the Orioles accept that offer or not, we'll see. Orioles may counter with something that's a little too much for the Dodgers. They have to stay under the luxury tax threshold. Which I think they still would. I think Machado's contract would get prorated. Um, will get prorated in the middle of the season. But they don't like moving prospects. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, yeah. Machado, Gavin. Yeah, Machado. Yeah, I, I think the Dodgers were, were leading at first in the sweepstakes. But it looks like as other news starts to come out, it looks like uh, they're not – they're kind of – they're in it. They're interested. But I don't think so. They have Turner, so why trade for him? Because he's Manny Machado? I'm sure the Dodgers could make it work. Remember, Corey Seager's out for the season. All right, Barry Larkin, Cano, Altuve. Looks like we got a bonus hit right here, too. It's Trout Reproduction. And Justin Turner is also a little on the older side. He only has like three years left on his contract. Manny Machado is far younger. There's Victor Robles. Clint Frazier, Pedro Martinez. And your bonus hit right here is Noah Syndergaard, 48 out of 99. That's for the Metropolitans. That'll go to Joe Ivers. And for the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts, 25. 66 out of 75, a few pieces of his lumber, and a jersey for Bruce Moss and the Red Sox. Behind Koufax is Carlos Rodon, 23 out of 25. Great dual relic and autograph. That goes to Jeremy Merle and the White Sox. Nice patches in there too, Jeremy. Behind Reggie Jackson is... Is that another Noah Syndergaard? Yeah, it is. 7 out of 25. The other one was out of 99. 7 out of 25. Oh, sorry. I hit the mic. Uh, that'll go to the Mets, Joe Ivers. I know, right, TJ? It was still like a number of cases later. It was the Red Sox or White Sox have been dry for a number of cases. And there's Aaron Nola out of 25. He's having a great season. That goes to the Phillies. EJ with the Phils. Chris Torres saying that... Uh, that the Dodgers are essentially refusing to call up Verdugo. Can he, true, he has nothing left to prove in AAA. So it does feel like he's involved in a trade somewhere. I think he might be one of the names for Machado. He could play the outfield, if they, especially if the Orioles trade Adam Jones. Alex Verdugo would be a nice young piece um, to play in that outfield. And he could start right away. His power, Verdugo's power could develop. But he's a great hitter, good eye, doesn't strike out a lot, and a good center fielder too. So that would be a, it'd be a nice piece to, to build around. TJ speculating that Verdugo is gone. I, I would think so, yeah. If they can make a move for, for Manny Machado or someone, I think he's one of the bigger names out there. Or maybe if the Dodgers add to the bullpen, which has been an issue for them too. But Machado's got to go somewhere. <laughs> now, I know this is something that TJ has brought up before. And this is something that I've been hearing some more rumblings uh, for as well. And mostly speculation by pundits and not necessarily any, any fire, any news. Not even smoke, I think. But what if... If the Nationals 
Our last box coming up in just a second, folks. Where are MLB standings? So the Nationals are 47 and 48. They're a game under 500. They're seven games back of winning the division. Still five games behind, behind second place Atlanta. Out of 150, there's Eric Hosmer. So do the Nationals actually trade Bryce Harper before he goes to free agency this season? Try to get something for him? There's Bryant and Kluber. All right, there's Johnny Bench. Yeah, Chris Torres is also pointing out there um, that, uh, right, we're forgetting that it's Baltimore. You leave it to them, not trade, and all they get is the draft pick. Spe speaking of Manny Machado, there he is. Two-color patch, two-color jersey, triple relic, and autograph out of 149. That'll be for TJ and the O's. There he, there he is. The last time we might see him in an Orioles uniform, TJ. There's Arenado. Steven Strasburg, 41 out of 99. You're welcome, TJ. Eric Bailey says no because the Nationals want Harbor to sign a contract with them. If you're, if What if I'm the Nationals GM and I say, Bryce, we're going to trade you. But what we're going to do with the trade is get pieces to add to the Nationals to become contenders. And then in the offseason, when you go to free agency, this goes to Jeremy Merle, by the way, we're going to sign you for big money. So we're going to trade you, get pieces for the future, and re-sign you again. What about then, Eric Bailey? 275 out of 299, Ahmed Rosario, instead of just getting, just re-signing Harper and not getting anything. And just paying a bunch of money for Bryce Harper. Right. Sounds like the oldest Chapman deal. That could work. Joe Ivers with the Metropolitans. And behind Freddie Freeman, last but not least, is Chris Sale, Craig Kimbrell. Nice. Great patches in there for out of 50. 16 out of 50 for Bruce and the Bo Sox. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Just because I'm in a good mood, $20 in break credit, a little consolation prize for someone who may not have hit anything, or a little cherry on top if you did hit something. So let's bring up random.org. Let's get a blank list right here. And we'll go from Arthur down to Jeremy. So everyone gets a shot at it. After three times on the dice roll, name on top, we'll get 20 bucks. One, two, three. And three. Shane. There you go. I don't think I called your number all break, Shane. So there's a little 20. That's actually not that bad. Shane bought the Padres for 10 bucks. <laughs> Gets the $20 of break credit. You're up. You're up, Shane. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Second half available, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, same $20 of break credit. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.